This video is part of the course that is Build REST API with Spring Boot and Spring Data JPA. Link for this course is given in the description. Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will see how to read the properties from application.properties file in our Spring Boot application. So when we created our Spring Boot application, I told you that in application.properties file, we can have our properties like database properties, URL, username, password and many things. And also we can have our own set of properties. Say for example, I want to have app name as a property. So what I can do over here is that app name equal to say demo app. So this is my custom property. So this is the key and this is the value. So you need to remember one thing is that this is string value, but here you don't need to have double quotes. Just note it down here. You don't need to have double quotes even for the string value. And this is your key. So for the key, you can have anything. It's not like you need to have dot, but it's good to have dot as a separator between your words so that anyone is reading your properties will get better idea. You can do camel case as well like this. This also fine. Basically you need to have key value pairs over here like this. And then on the next line, you have your next property and that is also key equal to value. So you need to have this kind of thing. So let me have dot separator between my words. So now let's read this property in our controller. So this is our student controller and here we will use at value annotation and let's have one private string app name variable with the at value annotation with the double quotes. First we need to have dollar sign then curly braces and our key. So that is app dot name. Let's import the at value annotation. See, this is provided by spring framework. So what will happen when we will start our application, it will read this property with this key from our application dot properties file and it will put inside this variable. So let's run our spring boot application. So this might take around 10 seconds to get started on port 8080. So let's wait for it. And in the postman, we will hit the same API. So before that, Let's change this thing. So now this get API that we brought will return the app name and that app name is coming from the application dot properties. So now let's run the spring boot application. So basically this get API will get us the value from application dot properties file and that is demo app. So let's hit this git API. See, we got demo app. And the reason is that we have written this app name from our git API in our controller. And that app name we are reading from the application.properties file. Now let's do one thing. Let me stop our Spring Boot application. And with has, you can comment out any property. So this one property will get commented on that particular line on each line. We have one property. So if you want to comment it out, just put has in the starting. Now this property is not present in our application dot properties because we have commented out, but still we have at value annotation with this key. So let's see what will happen when we will start our spring boot application. Let me maximize the console so that we can have better idea. See, it doesn't start it. It failed on the start. And if we see the error, okay, let me have scrolling to the right. See what it is saying is that couldn't resolve placeholder app dot name. So it is throwing error that you have provided this key, but this key is not present in the application dot properties. So whenever this kind of thing happens that you might be not sure that this will be in the application dot properties or not, 
it should not happen generally you need to be sure but still you can assign default value to avoid any startup error so to assign the default value after your key this is your key right app dot name just put colon and then your default value say i am saying default demo app now let's run our spring boot application and see if we are getting the same error or not see we haven't got any error and the application got started on port 8080 in our local machine so let's hit this api again see we got return message as default demo app so what will happen whenever this key will not present in your application dot properties it will take the default value whatever you provide it after colon so this is very important to avoid any startup error for your spring boot application now one more thing you need to remember is that this at value annotation will only work with the spring manage bins that means that this is at rest controller right so this will get managed by the spring like at service annotation if you take at configuration at component so in those spring manage bins this at value annotation will work and it will read the property from the application dot properties file but say if you have a pojo class then this at value annotation will not work it will not give you any error but it will not read the property from your application dot properties file even if you have correct property set in the application dot properties file so this is one thing you need to remember that at value annotation will only work with the spring manage bins so this is how you can read the properties from the application dot properties file using at value annotation in your spring boot application if you like the video then please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell like the video do comment in the comment section and share with your friends if you want to learn how to build rest apis with spring boot and spring data jpa then i am having complete course on it this course covers rest api spring boot spring data jpa spring aop that is aspect oriented programming documenting the rest apis with swagger project lombok to avoid the boilerplate code in java and many other topics link for this course is given in the description just click on that link and start your journey with spring boot and spring data jpa we'll see you in the another video till then happy learning and happy coding